this is the strange story of Fred Strong, a normal, happy man who usually enjoys life. I'm sorry. Stayed up too late last night. Into the morning. Playing chess online while watching inane crap on Netflix. So I didn't wake up today until 2.15 in the afternoon, which is 15 minutes before I was to check in at work. Pulled my jeans out of the freezer and slipped them on over my naked legs. That didn't even clear the fog of sleep and Lyrica. Yeah, Lyrica. Seizure medicine that causes depression. I'm very depressed, but I'm too listless to work up any anxiety about it. The world is gray and uninteresting, but suicide is stupid and mean-spirited, so I'll self-medicate with coffee and tramadol and, hey, a mental health day off from work. Called in sick. Took a tramadol. Drank a cup of coffee. Then another one. Paced back and forth across my bamboo floor, breathing youth-remembered yoga until my jeans and bowels warmed up. How quickly Tramadol lifts the outer veils of depression from my third eye. Three-eyed Cajun federal toilet polisher. Funny. How did I get here? And why do I think that's funny? In a darkly karmic way. Yeah, I gave people a lot of uncalled for shit in my life and now I'm cleaning it off government toilet seats. That's funny. I think I can go to work now. I know I could with a can of Monster. One can of Monster and I would be right back to my youth, swaggering around, giving people unnecessary shit with a smirk on my face. But no, for the sake of humanity, I'm staying home today, he said sarcastically. But wait, there's more. I'm 63 tomorrow, and it's past time for me to tell you this. I'm sorry. Please forgive me for being such an asshole. If you've read my posts over the last 12 years, you know that I have a long list of excuses for it. Yes, I do. And I probably won't change. I'm set in stone. I will go on being an asshole until the final heart attack. And even then, I foresee giving the EMS folks a lot of shit on the ambulance ride to oblivion. But I'm sorry for it. Truly sorry. I have lots of regrets. But let's not get all weepy-eyed over it. You were an asshole too. And I have long ago forgiven you for it. Big of me, ain't it? (laughs) There I go. Smirking again.